Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today I'm doing a reading for all signs. Keep in mind that this does not resonate for all of you. If you'd like a personal reading, I'll leave that description down below. You can also make a donate donation to the channel if you want to. Alright, so two cards I pulled for collective is going to be number 34, Spirit of the Warrior. And number four, she guards the waters of life. So what this card talks about is, you know, if you have negative influences in your life, what are like that be people or just something negative attached to you, you need to cut those cords so that you can have some you time. Like you are the creator, but it's time for you to kind of reflect, think on who you are, you know, do some reflection. It's time for solitude. And then with this car. This car talks about never giving up. You can overcome any obstacle that's in your way any challenge and you are never alone while you're doing this okay let's do the sign of Aries what advice does Aries need to know right now January 2021 okay so Aries you have number 16 with Maiden Magoo. Have a look at that card. It says the Maiden Magoo, goddess of spring, healing, and transformation, brings you assistance now. You're asked to honor the light that can come from even the darkest beginnings, beloved one. In fact, sometimes we need to enter into the unknown parts of ourselves to find exactly what we need to grow in peace. Creative self-fulfillment and happiness. The challenge can be to trust that we will rise from the darker place again. Just as the spring always follows the winter, beloved, so too will any inner work with the shadow precede a beautiful rebirth for you. Yes. Look at this. An immortal expression of the Divine Mother of the East now brings you a special message from Kuan Yin. She guides you to trust that if you enter into the darkness of the unknown parts of yourself, you will emerge into light, reassembled and reborn once more. If you are going through chaos in your life because you are allowing yourself to grow, Maiden Magoo also reassures you that the order and light will emerge out of chaos in due course. Have faith and keep growing. Yeah. In order to grow spiritually, there are times when we must delve within and find our shadow. It is easier to perceive the effect of the shadow than the shadow itself. The effect of the shadow is judgment, positive or negative, of another that we do not think is related to us personally. We may mightily admire or despise characteristics or traits in another, and yet, when such judgment arises, it is a part of us that is seeking to be integrated and expressed, trying to get our attention through our judgment. Yes. This card talks about going within yourself, going, you know, doing some shadow work in yourself, and through that, you'll merge into light. So working on parts of yourself and going on into light. Okay. Let's move on to the sign of Taurus. So what advice does Taurus need to know as of right now, January 2021? You have Weave the Future Golden, number 44. So let's see. As something good is coming your way. Kuan Yin urges you to weave your future into the present moment, to call in and draw to you the opportunities, teachings, circumstances, and synchronicities waiting for you that will enable your soul to live its divine destiny with greater abundance, bliss, and creative fulfillment. It says, Do you know how much the divine wishes to support and assist you in living your heart's truth this lifetime? Kuan Yin, with grace and compassion, wishes to teach to help you ascend to the next level of your life expression 
so that your soul and light may shine more brightly on the planet and help you and other beings live with more heart and less fear. You can choose to live a life infused with the golden energy of peace, prosperity, joy, and creativity. A future so golden is being woven into your present moment now like a tapestry. With the choices and actions that you make in this moment, you call into the divine golden tapestry of future bliss. Clever you. Kuan Yin is aware that there are opportunities and assistance waiting for you in the in your future embodiment. She wishes, wishes to assist you in drawing those future gifts into the present moment where they can be of most use to you. This oracle indicates that there is something special waiting in the wings for you. And if you wish to do so, you can receive healing and elevate your vibration so that you are able to receive it more readily. Yes. You have something good coming your way here. Um, abundant. Something good. You can attract this into your life quicker by raising your vibration. Alright, so let's move on to the sign of Gemini. So what advice does Gemini need to know as of right now? January 2021. You have number 26, Shining Lotus. So let's see. Says there are times when it makes sense to be discreet until you find your inner strength so that you feel empowered enough to share your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs with, without wavering, even in the face of a challenge by another. At other times, we benefit ourselves and others by taking a risk and allowing the, the inner lotus blossom of our true self to shine forth for all to behold. Says, have you been hiding in the spiritual closet, beloved? Sometimes it makes sense to avoid sharing your thoughts and feelings about spiritual beliefs and other personal matters until they are clear in your own mind. However, there are also times when hiding your deepest truths away from the world will no longer protect you, but actually hold you back from living your divine destiny, shining the lotus light of your own soul, and walking your path into the world. This does not mean that you have to make a grand announcement, but it does, also, but it does suggest that there is something within you that you could share with another, or be more open about in your life in general. It might be a talk with a loved one about some significant feelings that you have kept to yourself or beginning to be more open about your beliefs and your abilities. Once you put your energy into the world, you magnetically attract like-minded souls into your life, which will then encourage you to share more, share yourself even more. Yes. So this card talks about it, like, you know, expressing your beliefs at the right time. Expressing your um, self in general. Okay. So let's move on to the sign of Cancer. So what advice does Cancer need to know as of right now? January 2021. Let's see, you have number 27, Sisters of the Star Blossoms. Says it is good to remember that whilst we each take our own unique journey back into the divine bliss and truth, we have plenty of friends that love us unconditionally and wish to help us find the way home with the least suffering and greatest joy. When we allow ourselves to be helped, we help others too. It is a spiral of support and love that is wishing to connect more so with you now. It says group energy is powerful. When used consciously, it can help us expand in the same way that if you were to doing any task, many hands can make light work, as the saying goes. Well, many hands make light work too. Your energy can help nourish and lift the energy of others in a group. As the ancient Chinese over 2,000 years ago referred to the Pleiades as star blossoms, seven stellar sisters work together as a group higher consciousness to radiate great love and light on our planet 
and they can assist you now to find the light in the groups within which you share involvement. It is service to connect with heart-centered groups that feel good and improve the quality of your life, and to be supported and supporting of such groups. And you're guided to allow this to happen more in your life right now. Yes. So this talks about you supporting people. Like, it's a group effort. It's like this support you have. You're supporting people. They're supporting you. Having that in your life, particularly, you know, with a group of friends, with the can talk about light work as well, but just having that, make sure you have that support system. So let's move on to the sign of Leo. So what advice does Leo need to know as of right now? January 2021. Yeah, number 24, reveal the peacock beauty. Says, the beauty of the peacock is breathtaking. A stunning lush color unfolding in graceful and proud display, you too are a great beauty, beloved. Within you resides a glorious divine being of light with ability to create as your divine birthright. The, be the peacock beauty speaks to you of your creative energies rising to sublime. Inspire new levels as you are assessing the power of your throat chakra for higher creation. Your intentions, decisions, and particularly your words are becoming more powerful. Enjoy the wise use of this growing creative potency to express the beauty within you, asking for divine blessing on all your plans, projects, and words. It says the pe peacock beauty can silence us with her sheer magnificence. Magnificent. Anyways. Hold on. Anyways. Reminding us of the power of genuine beauty to bring us into peace and harmony within. There's a stirring within you to create greater beauty in your life, to honor the creative ability that you have to express such sublime feelings that reside within you. As the soul grows spiritually, the creative energies begin to rise from the sacral chakra in the hips and pelvis to the throat chakra, where it can be translated into sound and made manifest. What once would have been more instinctually creative, Beautiful in its own way, becomes inspired and sublime, adding depth and healing energy to your creative expressions. You begin, you can begin to create divine beauty through your words and actions. You become an active healing force for divine beauty in our world. Yes, yeah, so this talks about creation. You creating, you expressing more, expressing more of yourself and really creating a lot in your life. And that really helps the world in general. Okay. Let's move on to the sign of Virgo. So what advice does Virgo need to know as of right now, January 2021? You have number 20 with Nectar of the Lotus. says, the Divine Mother wishes that those who are meant to feed others will be fed well too. Your devotion to helping others has the effect of squeezing the cosmic heart chakra of the Divine Mother. From her heart drips nectar, sweet, sustaining, life-affirming energy that feeds you and allows you to nourish many souls, like a sacred chalice that overflows when you are full, well, and vital. The feeding of others happens effortlessly. You are guided to be fed now, fed with Divine Nectar from the heart of the nectar. Heart, heart of the mother. I don't know why I can't speak right today. I don't know. It says there is an endless supply of energy, joy, peace, bliss, and love for you. Flowing from the heart of the Divine Mother Kuan Yin, yet sometimes we may experience limitation instead of endless supply. These limits can be a hidden blessing. They could be a sign that our mind and emotional life could use some help shifting away from scarcity consciousness into consciousness of abundance. As we do this, we tend to relax and flow more easily, tapping into what is needed rather than perceiving res restriction. 
A limit or block in our flow might be telling us that our nervous system needs some time to adapt to receiving higher intensities of spiritual electricity through our system as we become more used to living to a joyful, higher vibrational existence. A limit or restriction in our energy might indicate that, what we ha that we have been so focused on giving to others that we have forgotten that we are a part of the divine heart we are seeking to embody and we need to gain more balance in our lives by taking some time out and attention to ourselves. Yes. Yeah, so this card talks about, you know, because you have given so much to people, kind of talks about, you know, taking some time out to yourself every once in a while. And there may be times where you may kind of feel these restrictions or limits in your life, but those, that's okay. That's not forever. And that may be so that you can work on other things in your life. Okay. So let's move on to the sign of Libra. So what advice do you have for the sign of Libra, January 2021? Okay, so you have number 32 with Tai Chi rising. As your energy field is growing stronger with more spiritual, spiritual electricity pulsing through your being. Take time to nourish your nervous system as it adjusts and be gentle with yourself as you adjust to increasing levels of spiritual potency, which gives more impact to your words, actions, and thoughts. Having a big energy field does not necessarily mean that you have a high level of consciousness, and when you do have an exquisite awareness and beautiful light. It is able to shine more brightly through a larger energy field. Whatever you have within you, a larger ener energy field will reveal it, it with greater gusto. You have a special light within you, and the elegance, beauty, and refinement of that light wishes to express itself more potently in, importantly, in the world of forms, so that others may receive healing and refine their light too. You can help teach others about the power of gentleness, that force is not required, and that kindness can be the most healing and powerful balm of all. For this to happen more so now, your energy field is growing. It is like having a bigger light globe through which to shine your light so that it's more visible. As your energy field grows, your words and thoughts have more potency. Yes. So this talks about you, your energy growing more. So you're going to have a lot more impact on your words, your thoughts, your actions. Yeah. That's pretty good. So let's move on to the sign of Scorpio. So what advice does Scorpio need to know right now? This is January 2021. Okay, so you have number one with Bamboo Moon. It says, did you know that there are no mistakes in the universe and all events, circumstances, relationships, and situations are unfolding in perfection with the timing and intelligence of the divine plan? Any apparent delay is in your favor. If something is happening for you right now, then that is perfect too. Divine timing is perfection. It is safe to trust this now. You might be wondering if anything is ever going to come together for you, or if it seems to be happening quickly. If you are even ready for it, then the answer is yes. Divine timing is always at play. Whether we are letting go or trying to force something, an intelligent power that is faster than our limited vision is always in flow and we're a part of that we can find so much peace and joy when we realize this and learn to trust and relax in the unfolding of our divine destiny yeah. so this, this talks about not worrying when things will come in what time 
It'll come in when it's meant to. It is happening. Be patient. If you have something happening right now, then that is meant to happen there too. So let's move on to the sign of Sagittarius. So what advice Sagittarius need to know right now as of January 2021. Okay, so you have number 40 with the Yin Empress. Says the Yin Empress brings peace, prosperity, and success to her beloved devotees. Its sole purpose includes healing and empowerment of the Divine Feminine, the Yin Empress herself. You gain power, assistance, and untold blessings in following your sole purpose. You are lifted and supported in your sacred work now. It says you are a spiritual leader and pioneer in part of what you are here to do for the planet on a soul level, whether you are a man or a woman is to empower the Divine Feminine, the Cosmic Empress of Yin, or Divine Feminine Energy, so that we might live more more balanced as a species on the Earth. The Divine Feminine is only now making her resurgence on this planet, and many do not understand her. Your sacred task, for which you will be ritually supported, nourish, nourished, and rewarded, is to help live her truths now. In doing so, you are planting seeds of awareness and experience for others to draw from when they are ready to live into her sacred truths. Yes. So, this card talks about following your path as, you know, healer. This is your sole purpose, a lot of spiritual work for you. You helping people spiritually. And you'll be supported in that. So let's move on to the sign of Capricorn. So what advice does Capricorn need to know as of right now, January 2021? Okay, so you have number 18 with Mother Fierce. It says, Mother Fierce is your guardian. Nothing can penetrate the passionate fire of her fearless love. Your safety is assured, beloved. In the midst of any apparent challenge or threat, no matter how frightening it may seem, and no matter how insecure you might feel about taking a step on your spiritual path into more power, know that you are safe, you are protected, you are loved. It says, Beloved, you have been growing spiritually, and sometimes this evokes response from others. This, The response may be loving and affirming, encouraging and validating. Many will choose to be inspired by your growth. Sometimes, however, lower vibrational responses will arise which might be fearful, insecure, jealous, or angry. These responses arise so that they can be healed. The healing for you is in how you choose to allow yourself to shine and not be diminished by the healing process of another. For the other, their healing is in their journey. And you have offered them a great service. Know that you do not need to be afraid, nor do you need to hold yourself back out of fear. There is nothing that escapes the notice of the beloved Quan Yin. As a divine mother of fierce compassion and protection, she sees all, knows all. She blesses all. She can lift your fear, she can lift you beyond fear and threat, beloved, into a place of unity with love that secures you against any would-be threat and delivers you into peace. Yes. So this talks about you not needing to fear any threats, any challenges. You'll be supported. You'll be protected. Safe. Okay, Capricorn. So let's move on to the sign of Aquarius, and then we'll do Pisces, and then that'll be the last sign. So what advice does Aquarius need to know as of right now, January 2021? Okay, so you have number 36 with the dance unveiling. It says there is a situation in your life that is about to reveal itself to you with greater clarity. Just like the sand shifting, the picture will seem clearer and quite different to how it once appeared to you. 
This clarity will bring you great relief and confirmation of your intuition. Be patient and allow the revelation to come to you at the perfect time. Often we think we know only a small part of the bigger picture. With some more information, what we think is the truth can shift, sometimes dramatically, and reveal a completely different reality. Sometimes we imagine a situation, person, or place to be all that we have, to be all that we think or feel that it is, only to find that it is not quite the way after all. Some time and involvement has passed. There's an important situation in your life right now that is still unfolding, and you have yet to perceive it fully. It is safe for you to be patient and curious and trust what you feel is unfolding now. Don't rush to set things in motion, to form a structure, or even think or even make things concrete until you have had a chance to be clear about this situation or process. Yes. So this talks about clarity coming to you. There's something going on that you think about, you think you know, you think you have this intuition on, but more will be revealed to you in time. And do not try to force this. It will come to you when it is meant to. Okay, so... Let's see, let's move on to the sign of Pisces. So what advice does Pisces need to know as of right now, January 2021? The Lotus Throne, number 37. The same lotus wisdom that enlightens beloved Kuan Yin and all spiritual masters is the very same lotus light within your own heart, beloved. It can take great courage to trust your own inner light, to ascend to the throne of your own spiritual authority, especially if the light of others around you seem more powerful than your own. You're being asked to trust this inner guidance above all others now. Have faith in your own heart. Know that you are divine. Says there are times on the path that we can greatly benefit from assistance from others. In fact, these times are almost always. A true spiritual master, teacher, guru, guide, or healer has the same role to connect with you, to connect you with conscious awareness to your own inner light, so that you may come to realize the spiritual power, authority, and beauty that you are in truth. And this is the same spiritual power, authority, and beauty that you may see and honor in them. Sometimes we might need an external guide to help us make a make a make the connection. Sometimes we are closer to our own divine wisdom than we consciously realize, and yet we fail, and yet we fall into a habit of believing that others may know more more of what is good or true for us than we do ourselves. Sometimes out of habit and conditioning, it is just easier to see the divine light in others than within our own heart. Okay, yes. So this card talks about you having that inner light, that inner guidance within yourself, and you need to trust in that. Don't worry about what others have, like what um, their inner light, their intuition, their guidance. Focus more on yours. Start trusting yours. Okay, so that is all I have for you. Let me know if that resonates. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more content, don't forget to like, subscribe. Bye, guys.